Okay guys, come here. Welcome back to Langriza 6.0 and on part 2 of this video will be featuring a demo play for Emperor Tyrant Tail and then on part 3 we will be doing the test play or demo play for Tabaris. So the usual stuff we'll be checking out um, again a quick go through on his class, type of classes, talent, skills, factions, soldiers. 3C um, effect and some of his character stats followed by his voice pack then we'll go through on checking out um, his character icon skins illustrations then followed by the demo play and we're going to end with a quick discussion about um, his enchantment so right are you guys ready here we go Okay, Emperor Siren Tail, so we're gonna check out his class first. So as you can see, um, he has on my left infantry class and on my right fire class. So the current meta, the more famous will be his flyer class because as you can see, um, well, the movement, mobility, because um, flying you can pass by a lot of terrain and movement speed of five is definitely better than movement speed of three despite based on um advantageous stats infantry definitely provide much more advantages it gave attack hp and defense whereas um fly only give attack and magic defense and there's his initial so you can also check out his chibi model it's pretty cool And personally, I kind of like this dragon is riding. As you can see, the flame, the fire, or the magma, it's um, generating or emitting from its core to its throat to its mouth. It's almost like it's going to blast through to you anytime. Then, um, as you can see, his factions, Empire, Mythical, and Reincarnation. And this means that he's able to receive Empire factions from SP Bernhardt, then Rose and Seal, then for Mythical Realm, the current most advantageous right now is Iso Dead or Iso Dead, okay, because she has 3C buffer. Um, Reincarnation currently it's losing all the meta, however, um, if you're using Huda as a tank, then he will be able to receive this pretty cool. Then his, so this is stats, but this is only for infantry. Um, I don't think we, I'm not sure if we can. Oh my gosh, we're able to change. So okay, um, let's check out again. So okay, it's oh gosh, oh my gosh. I've been recording for so long, and I. Apparently, I do not notice that I can, I can, I can change the class this way. Well, previously, this function is not there. Apologies. And so, for infantry, as you can see, the HP is um, fifty, attack fifty-five, defense three sixty-two, twenty-nine. Then, if you change it, HP is become forty-six, and uh, attack is fifty-nine, and defense is. 335 and magic defense is 321. So, apparently, the um, infantry in terms of survivability, infantry seems to be better, but and there's no changes for attack. Oh, no, no, um, the attack rose for flyer class, however, um, the rest of the stats are fairly weaker. Then his talent, um, the first king decisions or primal king decisions or determination. So we go through. So first, uh, number one, damage received reduced by 25%. Then second, number two, if you end your turn, you can choose an enemy and cast a domination seal or domination branding on them. The effect is as follows that during battle, the enemy with the, with the buff will attack 
later. The effect cannot be immune, cannot be dispelled, and lasts for three turns. Upon casting, this skill will enter a CD of two turns. And when battle number three, when battling. Oh, okay. When enemies with domination seals are three blocks around you, they are attack and defense stats. They are at, sorry, their attack and defense will be reduced by 20%. Then when Tyrant Tails die, he will create a spiritual form known as Empire's Will. And the Empire's Will can choose and target one non summon ally unit and cast um, Battle Spirits or Battle Resonance and cause them to inherit all his stats, skills, and equipment effect. Then, after you can act and now you can choose to act and continue battle and this whole effect can only last for one turn so long story short um, to give you guys a better idea is upon death he will summon a spiritual form of himself that will in inherit his stats then um, you can choose to possess one of your allies and take over their body and for more uh, deeper understanding of how his skills work etc please check out on my long vid that I have posed for his characters due to the fact that he has not one, not two, but three exclusive new skills and one three C. And this is all the skills you'll get and like usual, if you see a character with S slash, you know he's definitely going to play an important role in this arc and there's a higher chance that he's not going to die easily. But then again, I may be wrong. So okay, the usual stuff, S slash. Turn the light and sunshade, sunshade, heavy shield. So this is for tanking on close combat. The usual stuff. Okay, the old skill. Then you have um one, two, three exclusive new skills and one three C. So this is the King's Majestic, the one that increases your normal attack damage. And when going to battle, if your attack is higher, you will reduce the enemy's um, attack and intelligence by 15%. This is kind of similar to Bernhardt's Command Aura. However, this is not treated as a debuff, do remember. And King's Throne, um, this is just a physical gut version of the Light, um, light Bringer, aka Elmas 2.0 uh, gut, but gone to physical. Um, Destiny just, Judgment, um, his physical attack, and go by 3C, so, okay, the transformation 3C, so we'll be skipping that, and this is all the class of soldiers that he can bring, so, um, all the units, not too interesting, so the newer units will be the newly introdu uh, introduced Cavalry units, the one that will reduce um, enemy soldiers' units, attack and defense by X percentage. And the Fang Guards is definitely the one of the better, or if not one, the best that he had. Because um, they have damage increment, and when going close combat, they can reflect damage received, and then they will heal themselves based on the damage they have reflected. Hmm. So that's pretty cool. Alright. Um, his 3C animations. Okay, I gotta say overall, um, it has been a long time that for guy characters. I kind of like his 3C a lot because it brings out the important uh, illustration or portrait of the characters, which is his armor with that bright, shiny ruby. Let's check it out again. This is pretty cool. Now this looks very cool and magnificent. I really like the tree C. It's been a long time that they gave um, much more decent tree C animation or illustrations for the guy. I mean, just thanks thanks to the fact that he has very cool looking armor. 
Okay, he's dead. Holy sh... He is 210 cm tall. That's over 2 meters and... Weighing only at 87 kg. Dang! How did you keep up? Oh, gosh. Okay, um... Voice by Mr. Shuichi. Let's hear how he sounds like when you summon him. ワガナは平安ティル。オズグス帝国の統治者である。そなたの力と信念を示し、世に忠誠を誓え。And um, not so useful Japanese you can learn today. Muchi no orokamonome. Muchi no orokamonome. And that means um, fools who know nothing or do not know the value of the thing. So, for example, one day if, if your friend chance upon, let's say, you saw a sphere that you're able to tell or for some reason you already knew there is gold or diamond or something of higher value in it maybe it's a ori ori hakon is an adamantium sort of minerals and your friend just say huh this is just a useless stone this at this time you can just grab it and use the word muchi no oro kamonome that means you fools or fools who knows nothing yeah this kind of situation so it's not that polite and you definitely won't use it every day so yeah Okay, when you choose in battle. Okay, um, something interesting, you know that uh, he has this quite similar phrase that is kind of opposite um, compared to um, our lovely little princess, Ashen. So, let's hear it again. So, Ashen is saying Erabe, Samana Kya Hike. She what she's saying means you better choose um what you want to do, if not stand down. But um she, you can hear from the face that she's being kind or overly kind. Some may like, some may not. Whereas in Tyrant Tales case, um it's either is gonna show you that um what it is like. To be a king, a, a king who can be so decisive, or he's really going towards the tyrant road because he's chewing, chew, um, because what he's saying is, so it means, you guys know by now, it means choose, fukuju, okay, fukuju ka shika, it means, um. Fukuju, hmm, how should I say it? You kind of like, um, surrender yourself to me and pledge your loyalty, or you can just die. Yep. Basically, the, it, it's not totally surrender, but it's just like, um, you, you will be... Yeah, you kind of like surrender and pledge your loyalty towards him. The other kind of feeling. Okay, um, let's not go too much into this. And how he sounds like when he's not able to battle. Okay, daily conversation one. Okay, when he's happy. Okay, that is weird. I don't understand how is this going to be every conversation. He is referring to someone who betrayed everyone. And what funny is that in the end, um, he did not get anything. Let's hear again. Oh, it means in the end, the person uh, did not change anything. He's kind of like laughing at someone, but I don't quite get how it's supposed to be a com happy conversation. And I think he might be referring that guy who um, initially some fans, uh, which is speculated to be Roland's father, the king, 
that looks similar that that some fans say he looks like an older version of Mashu. But then again, okay, when he's angry. Okay, um, I guess he's talking about this guy, he's known as Pedro. I, I guess this is Roland's dad, if I'm not wrong. Okay, sad conversations. Special interactions. Sorry, um, that's interactions and irritated interactions one or in irritated feelings one. Hmm. Like a true king and special interactions. So right, that's it. So we can have a check on his skin. Okay, despite I already changed to his um, flyer class, but we are not able to check out um, his flyer icon. So okay, we just have to do with this. Um, you guys just have to wait till um, he's out in your regional server. So right, on his infantry class, okay, when he's attacked, oh, I definitely like his blade. This is like, um, the design is in fact, I gotta say, it looks way cooler and even better than the original El Hazard and, and Langrisa. This is like something even more magnificent and stronger or badass. Okay, when he releases skills. And when he's running. And when he faint. Okay, let's see if I can find um, how he looks like when he's being stunned. Oh, okay, this is how he looks like when he's being stunned. Okay, whoa, this is Echo of Light Skin, so oh, apparently there's a lion behind him. Uh, that's a white lion or liger, that's, oh my god, pretty cool. Um, okay, um, as original, as you can see, the design looks um, more sinister, and his eye, yeah, his eyes look like kind of... Um, I guess dead weight while well, his echo like skin here looks more well lively and vibrant you can tell his much gentler form and give you the point in shiny armor someone you can trust your back with and okay <laughs> seriously a lion or liger with wings simba the white lion the white flying liger <laughs> Okay, um, let's check out his uh, um, inf infantry echo light actions. Um, oh, even he have an halo on his head. So they're trying to hint us, hint to us that he's dead. Hmm. Or something. Okay, will this kill? Charging, running. Okay, is that a stun? Let us see a stun. Okay. And followed by his flyer class. Sorry guys, oh my god. <laughs> Did this design just look too cute and weird? <laughs> I mean, um, Aries 2.0 first came out with him riding on a land, a land lion and <laughs> Diamond Tail is Riding on a flying <laughs> and still with a halo on his head, okay. <laughs> okay, this is how they look like when they faint <laughs> or when they die, sorry. 
and the lion is is not having his eyes closed. So I'm gonna pretty him releasing his skills. Okay, when he's attacked, oh, okay, this, this looks much stronger. A heavy swing. This looks like a, a critical strike. And when they are moving, <laughs> oh gosh, the irony. Yeah, I tried to click. I'm um, not able to see the actions here. So, okay, guess that's it. Um, oh, okay. Before that, um, okay, we'll be checking out um his conversation before we check on his full portrayal. Yep, on this part of the video, you're not able to see booby jig of physics but we will be able to see cool bulky big armor physics jig of physics for the armor dekidai no ryugoroshi ga ukeru noroi kore wa ou ni naru tame no daishou ni hoka naranai seikaku na shiki da sonata wa toy ball no unmei o kimeru tatakai ni sanka suru shikaku ga aru Okay, I now we'll be looking at his full portrayal. Um, I gotta say, it, um, it has been a long time. I really hope, uh, at least for the guy version, I definitely hope to see um, any pro cosplayers doing this full cosplay of um, Tyrant Tail, or should I call him Emperor Tyrant Tail, because this whole sets look very magnificent and they are almost going back to the now they're actually going back to the original Languiza road um where the guys from empire are wearing very big bulky cool armor and but this time around it's covering almost most of his body i definitely like the shoulder section it's very cool it's as if um they're like leaving armor or sort Guess currently only downside is the shoes, shoes and the boots. Um, the design is still um, very similar. Not much of an improvement, but the uh, the top armor wise is definitely some something of a more unique look. Hey, let's check out um, how it looks like from this side. Shinjitsuga mo tarasu itami ni taete koso, unmei no kusari o tachikiru yaiba o furiageru shikaku ga aru. I definitely like um, how this time round, all of their cape uh, has this much more... Um, it's not just unique, but you can see it's a very hard... illustrations of the country's logo it's not no longer like the older language generations their crests are much simpler this time around their crests made are uh, much more um, deeper and harder to draw on this like if you're gonna do the cosplay of of these characters um, you're gonna put in a lot a lot of effort so right um, having that said um, it's time for us to go to this demo play and because it has three exclusive ability, we will only be able to get to choose two, sadly. Okay, so let's see. Okay, fire class. Mm. Okay, um, three C. Of our protections, uh, destiny judgment, the offensive skills, and um, majestic of king. Okay, um, they, we don't need the two C guard skills, so it's okay to ignore that. And here we go. Kono itsuari no jidai wa yoga o arasel. 
So I am going to Oh gosh, let's see if I can. They are not able to kill, so I will be aiming to kill off Calvary. Damage cast on Domination Seal. Can be gonna cast on this guy. But I'll be guarding for my allies. So you can see um, enemies with domination seals, they will not attack first. And while else, the one without, so see we will attack together. So I have already um, explained on the previous video that um, in Langrisa there's only attack first or attack normally, so there's no attack later. Okay, um, something must have gone wrong. I... Oh gosh, I gotta check out light. Hmm. Okay, there's no way for me to attack first. How can I avoid this? Okay, there's no choice. I guess I gotta go for it. There's a tree C. Oh my god, they are making fun of his entry from the start of the Toy War trailer. <laughs> so the one who, who is breaking through the windows to kill off Roland's dad is Tyrant Tail. But <laughs> to use that, that is almost like you yeah, are recycling um, Safri Roth. Sephiroth from FF7, like every time he jumped down from the ceiling to kill off Aries and to use it as his 3C animation. Dad, oh my god, you guys are going to be hell. Oh my god, okay, if that's the case, I'm going to try sending the branding to the enemy. Instead, oh, okay. Oh, I should have come here for so okay. Um I'll be trying to use my 3C to kill him off and then to reset my talent effect. この位置割りの時代は夜が終わらせる。無知な愚か者め。Okay, <laughs> <laughs> mm, I guess I'm going to let enemies to kill me off and I'm going to possess um, my allies so you can see that um, it's by right you should have treated as no one dies this <laughs> Okay, then let's try it out. Okay, 
So okay, I'm immune to fix damage. Oh gosh, will I not will, will I not be able to die? Okay, I guess this is a very bad demo play. I am not able to showcase um how I die. Okay, but it's just that simple, simple to play. He is um, a tank and um, mostly to guard against enemy for your allies. Um, but even with that said, his normal attack... Because if you happen to bring his passive, the King's Majestic, um, even if you only have normal attacks without skills, your damage will be increased by 20%. There's a high chance for you to kill off your your enemies too. Okay, I'm gonna try uh, not giving the domination seals to enemy and, and see if I can die. Okay, then too bad I'm not able to show you guys in this demo. Um, I'm not supposed to die. So I cannot show the possession skills. So, okay, no choice. You guys can only refer to the demo yeah. video. Oh, sorry, you can only refer to the skill videos and you can only get to actually try and play it out during the actual release on your region. Apologize for it. <laughs> So as you can see, before casting the 3C Guard ability and after, Tyrant Tail is definitely going to have a higher survivability because you'll get to add 15% of your attack to your defense and magic def uh, and sorry, attack, uh, sorry, defense and magic defense. So I'm going to check it out. So the 3C effect lasts for 3 turns, um, cannot be dispelled, so I'm able to guard allies 2 blocks around me for all incoming attack. Second part, increase, uh, put 15% of the attack to your defense and magic defense and able to counter range attack, cannot be dispelled. Then um, there's a single target faction buff, so increase attack and intelligence by 20%, defense 20%, magic defense 30%. And the one that's being sealed right now is I'm not able to um, activate my talent's effect, so nothing much. Okay. I guess I stand at the wrong positions. I'm start trying to kill the Pegasus. But yeah. Okay, do not die, do not die. Okay, and I my tree C do not heal me, but okay. I, I let's hope I can survive. I'm gonna move you this space. So the offensive tree C um, will be skipping the passive because the abilities are the same. So attack. The enemies deal 1.8 times damage, dispel 5 buff before battle, and if our own ally amount is 2 or less,
enemies with domination seals, the damage they take will be increased by 20% and upon killing an enemy, it will be triggered again. So domination seals, so as you can see, these are the negative buff effect. So apparently the only the one in ring icons is called debuff, the rest, um, in my opinion, is supposed to be a debuff, but I'm not sure how do they classify it. So apologize if I have made some mistake during my previous video. Hey, here we go. So we attack first. Jump down from the window, it just came out of nowhere. I'm gonna smash you. Woohoo! And then I'm gonna cast Domination Seals on the enemies again. Okay, so right now on this test, now we're going to be trying out since we already played here. It's After I use the offensive tree C, it's going to the CD of 5 turns. So, my guard skill is going to end soon. So, will the guard skill... Uh, after 3 turns, will this 3C change back to guard skill or will it not? So something for us to um, understand and find out. Oh, okay. Um, Okay, so it's change back, it's automatic change back. This is pretty good, um, very great because um, compared to older generation heroes like Chlorotis, once you use the skills, um, you have to enter the full CD of it before you change or load out the skills. So this is pretty cool. Once the turn is up for the original guard skills, um, even if your offensive skills right now is in CD state, it will be transformed. <laughs> Then one last thing we'll be trying is if I turn on this guard skill, will the offensive tree C still be under its CD state or is going to be reset? So I'm, I'm definitely sure you guys will be more interested to know about this. So okay, it's very cool. Um, as you guys can see, just on the CD is definitely at least um, a CD of five to four turn left. I only wait for one more turn and I cast the guard skills and this skill is being reset. So this is definitely a very cool uh, a skill set to use. Hey, that's cool. Let me regen from this. So, okay, um, we almost come to the end, and just a quick update for you guys. Um, on during the video on the skill sharing, exclusive skills, and CV, etc., um, during that, that release period, um, there is still not much people using SP Rumford and Tyrant Tail. However, um, almost one month has passed and more, more and more players is getting a higher rank of both of the heroes. There is um, currently based on statistics or, or you can see a very visible scenario that there has been a sudden spike or increase or increment usage of both SP Runford and Tyrant Tail. However, um, back to what I said, we do not know that if they will be that useful until the end of Apex S18. Are they going to just be a very short-term popularity? Are they going to just enjoy their short-term popularity in the Apex meta box or will they be falling out very soon? There's something for us to speculate. And last but not least, um, 
item building wise I don't have a hero but I'm gonna just gonna quick go through the usual stuff about flyer class um, it's similar to SP Ramford so if you'll be choosing his flyer class Tyrant Tails um, should be able to use nope not this Yep, definitely you can go um, Ragnarok, Last Ride, then Accessories it, um, accessories and Helmet-wise you can check out based on the previous video that I've shown you at the end. But um, if you want to play, since you're a tank, there's a high chance you will be supporting your teammate. You can go for the, um, the Headdress, the one that gives 20% um, damage increment to your Allied, wherever are you, where are you? Um, yep, King's Crown. Okay, um, increase their damage. Or if you want to increase the survivability, you can give um, Neonia um, Feather. So when fighting with enemies, HP lower than you, you can increase your defense and magic defense by another additional 15%. Or if not, you can also give him a healing. Uh, flash for bottom to heal your HP when your HP is low though um this two currently may be the more famous options then in terms of enchantment wise if you're going to play go for um movement oppression you can go for breeze and where else for survivability you can go for full moon these are the two um popular options right now in the current apex which is almost the end of the release of um Tyrant tales banner only with only a few days left Or you want to immune to silent, you can go for bracer, but if you want to go for damage, you gotta go for other build up like overlord, etc. Also dust to prevent silent from enemy. Okay, so with that said, we have come to the end. Um, not sure anything else I can share with you guys. Or if you have any questions, do leave it down in the comment sections below. I will try to reply um, once I saw it. So last but not least, we have come to the end. What did you guys think? Did you think he's cool, good to use or not? Um, to be honest, just his character designs and looks alone is very badass. I will definitely be sure to summon him. Get support my guys, man. So... See you guys, and if anything, leave it down in the comment section below. And if you like it, give it a like and subscribe. This is coming. See you guys, and goodbye. Remember to see, stay tuned for part 3 on the demo play of Tabris. Goodbye.